Man, Dad, I hate folding. There are no women here. Who are we trying to be neat for? <laughs> well, Maddie, I think you're looking at this the wrong way. Hey, yeah, you might be right. <laughs> uh, uh, Dad, either we have someone else's laundry, or is there something you want to tell me? <laughs> wow. Wow, we, we probably should bring this back down to the laundry room, huh? Wow. <laughs> yeah, man, can you imagine? There's some woman in this building who actually wears this. Yeah. <laughs> we have a moral obligation to go door to door and find the woman this fits. You know, kind of like Cinderella. Yeah. yeah, no, no, actually, it's exactly like Cinderella, because it's a fairy tale and it'll never happen. <laughs> no, I'm just going to take this... I'll take this down to the drive. Hey, Dad, but what if someone sees you? Oh, uh, well, uh, yeah, I'll put in something inconspicuous. Give me that pizza box there. Uh, hey, I'm just in time for pizza. <laughs> Anybody here? Good morning, Ben. <laughs> Alex, don't you notice the phones? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they stop after a while. <laughs> you see? Where's the temp? Shh, shh. Dolores is having her coffee. And then I am sending her home because I do not like her, Ben. She does not respect my position. Huh? What's your position? Cowering under the desk. <laughs> she's one scary-ass woman, Ben. What are you talking about? She's a temp. She works for us. We're in charge here. No. Dolores! What? No! <laughs> Nothing. I, I just want to make sure that phone's not bothering you. <laughs> you know, from now on, we got to hire from human resources. <laughs> Man, what are we going to do about her? Now, now, I'll tell you what we're going to do. One of us is going to answer the phone, and one of us is going to fire her. Hi, Dolores. <laughs> Have fun. Hello, Home Court Press. Yeah, yeah, this is Ben. Julia. Julia, wow. It, well, yeah, it's, it, it's great to hear you. Uh, really? Well, uh, when are you coming? Oh, oh, no, sure, sure. It would be great to see you. Yeah. How great would it be? Well, not that great. That's just something you say over the phone. <laughs> mm, you look good, Benjamin. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, you remember my baby sister-in-law, the elusive, exclusive, not work conducive Julia Bullock? <laughs> sure, yeah, you were here two years ago managing some rock band. I was? Oh, yeah. God, I can't believe I forgot that. That was like 20 jobs ago. Yeah. Well, Alex, you've heard Julia's slogan. When it comes to work, quantity is job one. <laughs> you know, it is so great to see you guys getting along. Mm, it almost makes you forget how angry you were, huh, when she left town. Hoo-hoo. If I lent someone a thousand bucks and they just disappeared, I would be furious. But look at you guys, huh? You worked it out. You didn't work it out. Excuse me, I'm gonna go pick up lunch for Dolores. I really don't want to see that creature when she gets hungry. Hi! So, Julia, I'm sure you have a very good reason why you skipped town and never paid me back. And since you had two years to work on this story, I'm sure it'll be very entertaining. It better be at $1,000 a ticket. Okay, Ben? Sit back and relax, because the show's about to begin. I learned a little something when I worked as a magician's assistant. Oh, what's this? In your ear? Check for a thousand dollars? Quick, check the other ear. <laughs> ben, I'm sorry. I know I have not been the most responsible person in the past, but I'm trying to change. Maybe it's because of Sarah, but I finally realized that your family is all you have. And you should appreciate them. Not take advantage. 
I miss her a lot. Yeah, yeah, me too. Anyway, that's why I'm here. I want to make a fresh start. Yeah? Uh, well, a good way to make a fresh start would be to sign this check. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? No, I just can't get over how much you look like Sarah. So, uh, where are you staying? I'm sacking out on a friend's couch till I can get on my feet. And I'd love to come by and see Maddie. Yeah, sure, but, uh, why don't you stay with us? Oh, Ben, you don't have to do that. Nah, nah, you're family and we've got plenty of room and I don't want you leaving town till this check clears. <laughs> if I were you, I wouldn't let her off the hook. After the way she played you in the past. Well, you're not me. Well, you lucky I'm not daddy. <laughs> Apart from the obvious, why is that? Because daddy would say Julia plays you like a banjo. What else does daddy have to say? Well, he says you should have learned your lesson when she borrowed your car and racked up all those tickets. Nah, nah. Everybody's entitled to a few mistakes. Daddy knows that. <laughs> and mind you that that's what you said when you lent her money to buy dental insurance and she bought a motorcycle. So what does daddy have to say about the way you flirt with her, huh? Last time she was here, you sucked up to her so hard we didn't have to vacuum for a month. <laughs> daddy doesn't want to talk about that. Ah! <laughs> daddy? Hey! Uh, 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 Julian. Oh, look at this handsome boy. Man, I bet you are some kind of lady killer, huh? Oh, well, I may have wounded a few. Mm. <laughs> hey, give me your stuff. You're gonna be in my room. I'm gonna take the couch. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's not fair. We'll make your father sleep on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ben. Hi, Julia. <laughs> well, hello, Carl. <laughs> well, hello, Julia. <laughs> What we celebrating? What you want to celebrate, baby? Well, what you got? What you need. <laughs> Don't make Daddy have to turn the hose on you two. Thanks for giving me such a great welcome, even before you knew I had gifts. Oh, gifts. Well, we just uh, make it a blanket policy, just in case. Souvenirs from when I was in Jamaica. Carl. Yeah. Rum so smooth, it glides out of the glass. Ooh, I look forward to sipping into something a little more comfortable later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Julia. <laughs> For you, Ben, some genuine homegrown cooking spices. Ooh, well, I really be Benjamin now, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be you, Maddie. Something I picked up at the reggae sun splash. Oh. <laughs> now I be being Benjamin Ma. <laughs> so Ben says that you're planning on sticking around. Really? You moving back to Chicago? Cool. Yeah, if I can find a job. You know, something with a future and maybe some benefits. Mm. Uh, well, in the meantime, I can offer you a dead-end, go-nowhere job temping at our office. It has absolutely no future and even less benefits. <laughs> that would be huge. <laughs> well, since you're settling in, you know, I might as well reacquaint you with the Windy City. <laughs> uh, by the way, Carl, uh, the city called. They need you back by the lake, blowing all that hot air. Home court press. Yes, this is she. Really? Thank you. <laughs> I have great news. Yeah. I got an apartment. Wow. Check it out. The Gold Coast Towers. Wow. And you got a doorman in your building. Hey, this guy lives in my building. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I'm in over my head, but I got it all worked out. I'm going to find a roommate and to pay for my first month's rent, I'm going to sell my car. I'm not that attached to it anyway. Uh, Julia, you can't sell your car. Now, you need it to find work. I'm going to give you a check back. I'm not that attached to it anyway. Ben, I'm good for it. I promise. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I still can't get over this doorman. I mean, I've seen the uniform, but, you know, I, I just thought he was just another exiled Bolivian dictator. <laughs> Guess I can stop saluting, huh? <laughs> so you 
sure you want to give all this stuff to Julie? Oh, yeah. Besides, it's not so much that I'm giving it to her as that I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> oh, look at this. Can you believe someone actually gave Alex and me a fondue set for a wedding gift? <laughs> yes, I can. And we loved it. Yet that, that's why it's still in this box. I wanted to keep this in mint condition. <laughs> basic concept of a housewarming party. You have it in your house. This is my house. It's warm enough. My place is being painted. I just invited a couple friends over to help celebrate, and they invited a couple friends, and hey, there's some people here that I don't even know. Well, in that case, you won't feel bad when you throw them all out. Come on, Ben, it's not that simple. <laughs> That simple. Where are you going? Marcos. Sit down. Listen, Ben, I think you're overreacting. I'm overreacting. You throw a party at my house with a bunch of people you don't even know, with my son present and my brother, who is very impressionable, I might add, and I'm overreacting. Hey, Dad, I'm cool. You're 12. Sit down. And who paid for all this, anyway? If it's money you're worried about, don't. I took a few dollars out of my security deposit, but they'll let me slide. That's exactly the problem, Julia. People keep letting you slide. Hey, Ben, I didn't ask you for anything. Yes, you did. You asked me to trust you. Well, if you can't trust me, maybe I shouldn't be here. Maybe. I'll see you, Maddie. Oh, Julia, wait. Come on, Dad. Yeah. Oh, man. Morning, Maddie. I'm not talking to you. Well, I don't mean to be critical, but you're not off to a very good start. <laughs> uh, how long is this going to last? You're new at this not-talking game, aren't you? 
This is about your Aunt Julia, isn't it? Now we're talking. <laughs> Morning, Ben. Oh, isn't that the same thing you were wearing last night? Yes, it is. I haven't been home yet. But I was on my way back from Marco's party, and I thought I would stop by and help you clean up. Marco's party just ended? Who said it ended? I just couldn't take any more. <laughs> my feet are killing me. Well, uh, maybe it would help if you had two of the same shoes. Oh, man! All right, come on. Let's have some coffee. I love you. Good morning, Maddie. Hey, Aunt Nicole. Oh, wait. Did you hear something? I didn't speak to somebody else. Well, now you're going to make up the rules as you go along, huh? Ah, uh, the silent treatment, eh? Yeah, well, he's working on it. Alex used to give me the silent treatment. You know, looking back... Those are some of the happiest moments of our marriage. Yeah, well, he's, uh, he's angry with me because I threw his Aunt Julia out. Oh, yeah, Marco told me you overreacted. I, of course, took your side. Yeah, well, you took the wrong side this time. Truth is, it was all my fault. I allowed myself to be taken in again. I'm a sucker, Nicole. Come on, Ben, give yourself a break. Uh, Everybody has somebody like Julia in their family. It, for me, it's my cousin Victor. I mean, I loved him, and I always wanted to help him. I was always loaning him money, and I was always getting burned. Mm. And then finally, one day he came to me with some harebrained scheme he wanted me to invest in, and I put my foot down, and I said no. <laughs> it was Microsoft, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I could have made millions of dollars. <laughs> No, I, I see what you're saying. Sometimes a person needs tough love. And, and, you know, I bet your relationship with Victor is better than ever. What relationship? The man is a billionaire, Ben. He doesn't even take my calls. <laughs> no, I'm depressed. I'm going home. Well, thanks for the pep talk. Oh, yeah. Bye, Nicole. Maddie, talk to your father. He has a wonderful way of making people feel good about themselves. Yes. Bye. Get home safe. I will. <clears throat> All right, Maddie, I know you're not talking to me, so I'm going to talk to you and you can listen. What happened last night, that wasn't the first time your Aunt Julia's taken advantage of me, and I can't let it happen anymore. Look, Dad, I know you're mad at her, but it just feels good having her around again. I mean, she kind of reminds me of Mom. I know. I know, but until she shows me that she can change, I can't trust her to be around us. What if she doesn't change? Just me. Ben, did I by any chance leave my keys here? I haven't seen them. Oh, great. Now I have to squeeze through the cat door again. <laughs> <laughs> That is one big ass TV. Ben, I'm glad you're here. I owe you one huge apology. Uh -huh. I was wrong for throwing that party. I was wrong for using your deposit money. I don't want to mess up my relationship with you and Maddie. It's too important to me. Yeah, and it's too important to me, too. That's why I'm going to change. No. No, you're not. And I finally get that. And it's OK, because I'm going to change. Wow. Yeah. Great. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You see, from now on, Julia, you don't have to do a thing. Well, I'm good at that. <laughs> okay, I just need Mr. Stevenson's signature. Mr. Stevenson? Well, that really makes things interesting, doesn't it? <laughs> the other day, I kind of listed you as a co-signer because I needed someone with a local address. You're not mad, are you? No, no, no. In fact, this is perfect. It is? Yeah. You see, Julia, because once again, you're showing me that now, here's where the money is. You don't change. That's why I didn't have to change. You don't. I'll take that. Right there. Right here? Mm-hmm. You're not gonna sign? No. Well, why not? Because by not helping you out, I'm helping both of us out. This isn't helping me. Exactly. <laughs> if I don't get a signature, I'm gonna have to take all this stuff back. Now, you see? Ralph gets it, don't you, Ralph? Yeah. 
You're changing. She's staying the same. Okay. Move it out, Ralph. You got it. All right, Neil, let's move it out. Now, just remember, Julia, with every piece of furniture that goes through that door, our relationship is going to get stronger and stronger. Are you sure we couldn't make it a tad weaker and I can keep the couch? <laughs> get your own furniture, you'll feel like you accomplished something. And until then, never underestimate the timeless charm of milk crates. Yeah, think how easy it'll be to clean the place. Yeah, right. And look, you still got that great view now that that big-ass TV is gone. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Ben, thanks for not writing me off. Your family. Um, it's time. <laughs> That was a good idea, Ben. Taking all that furniture away, you sure showed her. I hope you brought your appetites. I should have brought a chair. Ooh, fondue. Ooh, fondue. Is that what goes with this bucket of cheese? No, that is the bucket of cheese. I'll be right back with the bread. You know, I do not get fondue. Can you believe somebody actually gave me a fondue set for my law school graduation? Yes, I can. <laughs> and, and, and I loved it. So you guys want to watch the Bulls game while we eat? Sure. Uh, which one of these milk crates are we going to pretend is a TV? <laughs> Come here. 14th floor, two in from the corner. <laughs> Wow, that's one big-ass TV. <laughs> hey, but they're not watching the game. Oh, wait, let me grab the remote. <laughs> hey, Marco, turn on the game, man. Oh, hey! hey. <laughs> Dolores, you got my teddy? <laughs>